Hey guys, it's like Hage, and before the video starts, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe. My goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of July, which may seem like a lot, and it is, but I think we can make it. Every sub counts. So my last Rogue Lenny intro video was really popular. Um, I figured I'd do another one. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all of the elements that came together to basically destroy Rogue Lineage. Um, in a sense, I guess you could say the first element that really just ruined the game was the community. It was toxic and many people encouraged toxic behavior like adding in the game passes like I talked in the last video that were pay to win and um, we'll, we'll get more into that later on. So um, YouTubers like Retaliax um, no clip so Infernasu they brought more people to the game and these people were followers of them and this is yeah well after this after all these youtubers came together and started recording on the game um, it was at this point when basically uh, the term called gank squads was a thing and gang squads is basically what Rogue Lineage is today. Uh, it's basically when a party of two or more attack players just jump them. And this is why people really started to dislike Rogue Lineage is because you knew that eventually you were gonna lose everything and rather than the game being mysterious and fun and something that you could enjoy, the game became something that you you know you learn to be feared of like you were scared you knew that eventually you would run out of lives and you knew that it just wasn't gonna end well so after after the youtuber started joining with Infernasu being the first one I think um everything else just rogue, rogue lineage really impacted roblox itself because these youtubers were coming from other games like um, for example, Infernasu was mainly recording Bleach Primera at the time. Now Bleach Primera is dead, and he, is, he does not even play it anymore. Shirafuni does not play it anymore. Um, no clips will change his content from making videos about random games, and he changed it completely to Rogue Lineage for a little bit. Metaliax, uh, Zenjutsu. Do I need to go on? Uh, the game just... It just completely impacted Roblox, and it was a really fun game. But uh, there's also uh, like an, an aspect of being a solo player in this game as well, because you don't need a party, you don't need a house, you don't need a group of friends to go through anything. You can do it all alone. But that's not advised because the game is, in my opinion, only fun when it's played with friends. Now, another reason why the game just slowly started deteriorating is because of, well, I mean, we all know it was coming, but, um, really, the staff itself, um, maybe a week, three, maybe a month after Infernasu started playing Rogue Lineage hard, uh, 70, 600 hour, hours on it, that's, that's about when, um, the mod gave the moderator staff whatever gave him free moderator he didn't have to apply for it or anything and that enraged the community and this is just abuse of powers because he was a youtuber with around 8,000 subscribers at the time he got a free role that gave him control over around 2,000 4,000 other players and this was unfair and around this time the staff started making unorthodox decisions like uh pay to win stuff, um, hero mode, pay to respawn as your same character, pay to respawn with a different lineage, pay to respawn with a different character. Like, it, the game just became pay to win and that's not fun. And then the game just started getting corrupted with exploiters, exploiting, 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 duping, duping. Um, before duping wasn't even an issue, nobody even knew. I bet half the community didn't even know what duping was, but uh, if you, for those that don't know what duping is, it's a term that refers to, uh, it's basically a glitch that most games have at first where you can take one item 
and turn it into two, three, four, five, six. Basically, you're multiplying the item through a cheat. Not an exploit, but some sort of glitch. Um, yeah, exploiting, duping, toxicity. The game just became absolutely terrible, and it dropped in player count as well. Um, I feel like the devs, if they made another game similar to Rogue Lineage, then maybe it'd be good if they weren't so focused on making money instead of making a good game. Um, another reason why the game just started dying is because of the unnecessary updates, like I said in the last video. Updates, 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 Dark Sigilmite, same thing as normal Sigilmite, except it has one move and it does less damage. Um, subclass, subclass, subclass. We don't need, we don't need any of this. Now, certain, certain subclasses like Necromancer, um, I haven't played in so long, so please don't add me on this. Necromancer, Sigil Knight, um, what was it called? I honestly don't remember, but, um, a, a Sheen main subclasses, um, Monk, uh, yeah, I mean, those were basically the four original classes, and then they started splitting off into so many different subclasses that the game just started becoming bad because they were just unnecessary. And it was like the like like you see how Dark Sigil Knight has one move. That means that either they ran out of ideas, or they were too lazy to dev the code, whatever, uh, more than one move. And I think it's a mixture of that. I think that's why this game started dying. I think it's because A, the devs were lazy, and I also think it's because B, uh, they just wanted to pump out as much as they can, as much as they could in a short amount of time, because they were rushing, and they were rushing because I think that they knew that their game was dying, and I also think that they knew that it was just pay to win, but they didn't stop at that, so. What they did was they held community votes to put on game passes and things like that, and it worked at first. It was a good little system. Um, people, we were, the community was able to stop pay to win through this, but then it didn't work and they just started adding in more and more. So, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe. Like I said, I want to hit 1,000 by the end of July. See you guys in the next video.